Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about the topic, keep watching. Today we'll be discussing the Separatore Tripostatico. That's the name I've given to the device I've invented, which is a cold plasma-based approach to separate trichomes from contaminants. I've been super busy with this project, so I haven't had time to make more videos, but rest assured we'll continue posting on Tuesdays until we conclude our electrifying journey. We recently concluded our validation phase of the device, and the results were amazing. I must say, the results are a bit above what I would expect from a beta device. Look at this picture, which shows a THC flower feed, heads, and tails. So this is low quality feed of about 30% heads, it was processed through the machine until it reached about 90% heads. The quality you can achieve with the device will depend on the liberation of particles. If a head's physically glued to the plant particle, it will charge any which way and either contaminate heads with particulate or end up as waste. This can be reprocessed to both increase quality and reduce losses. Okay, so let me explain how this works. This is the key feed under magnification. This is what goes into the machine. When we run that key through the tribostatic once, we get two fractions. These are the heads that come out. Notice a significant improvement. However, there are still plenty of contaminants left. Now notice the tails, how they are notably worse than the feed. However, we do have some trichomes that made it to the tails. Now we rerun those first pass heads and you can see how much quality improves. When you look at the tails from those same heads, you can see the sort of contaminants that made it through the first pass. After six passes, we saw no further improvement in the heads fraction. However, we can still see some contaminants. I can see some cisolithic trichomes that likely have a charge and should be there, but I also see some stocks that should not. This is likely due to the particle being mechanically attached to a head because it hasn't been decapitated or is adhered to a greasy head. To further improve the quality of the hash, we must mechanically liberate the particles. This can be done in a vibrating sieve or manually on a screen. The rotating motion assists in the separation of particles. This extra step makes sense if the final product can be sold at a premium. In these pictures, these particles pass through a 73 micron mesh. Notice there is still some biomass, stalks, and some small heads. The resulting heads from the manual cleaning process are of high purity. Remember, fire in, fire out. I posted my findings on Future and social media and got many questions, so I want to go over those with you to elaborate in detail. The most frequent critique we got is why aren't we showing pictures or videos of the device? We're premiering the device at MJ BizCon, so if you want to see the machine in person, stop by booth 2719 and check it out. No worries, we'll post many pictures and videos here if you can't make it. We made an awesome promo video narrated by our Scottish friend April. She's awesome. If you're interested in the machine and you want to talk to me about it, head over to the website and let us know. I do want to clarify that this is not an extraction method, it's a remediation device. The remediation device takes powdered hash or even biomass and separates round, bulbous heads from stalks, pistils, plant particles, pollen, and even dirt. This is done without modifying pressure, temperature, or particle chemistry. In fact, we barely touch the particle at all. This method is genuinely solventless, using very little electricity and air. Okay, so how much can the device process? About two kilos per hour, depending on how dirty the keef is, that'll dictate how much clean heads you can get in a shift. The way the machine works is that each time you pass a keef through a device, it cleans up the biomass by separating heads and tails. Most biomass must be reprocessed several times to get high quality product, the picture shown before were reprocessed six times to achieve this quality. That may sound difficult, but in reality, all that means is taking your heads and placing them in a hopper so they're reprocessed. It's an automated system, so it's not a laborious process like, say, hand static sifting. What about the tails? Can those be reprocessed? Yes, absolutely. You can rerun all of your heads and all of your tails to increase purity and reduce losses. 
Can you make full melt hash? Yes. There are some best practices to follow to achieve this, but yes. Remember, the key is for particles to be liberated, as we can't separate particles that are glued together. This depends on the biomass, how it was processed, how you post-process. You can take low-quality material and turn it into 90-plus percent heads. Those heads can be further cleaned up uh, by breaking the agglomeration with a sieve or hand sifting. The motion of rolling heads on a sieve dislodges the particulate attached to the heads, allows you to achieve high purity, and in some cases, makes full melt at large scale. Round heads are collected. Small, immature heads will likely end up as tails. So will systolithic trichomes. In most cases, tiny trichomes are just immature and would not contain much terpenes and cannabinoids anyway. Regardless of what ends up as tails, the ripe heads are collected in a clean fraction, destined as a premium product. The tails can be extracted into a food grade product using MCT oil or blasted with BHO or extracted via a solvent. There's no waste. What quality biomass can this remediate? Any quality. Material that cannot be sifted by hand can be remediated with cold plasma. I suspect you could grind an entire plant and separate out trichomes. What operating conditions are required to operate? Temperature is the most important. Your room must be cold enough to prevent your hash from greasing up. So whatever temperature that is. The device creates its own microclimate, so humidity is not so important. I think this is a significant technological achievement and may create a massive shift in how hemp and cannabis are extracted. All current processing methods unintentionally extract contaminants from the plant. No matter what we do, whether it be processing cold or using adsorbents and other remediation techniques, the available extraction methods are the problem. Since most cannabinoids and terpenes are in the trichomes, isolating trichomes eliminates the risk of contamination. Though I don't think this technology will eliminate other extraction methods, it may dominate the industry. Your clean heads can be easily extracted using cryoagitation, then remediated with tribostatic. Since your waste is dry or fresh frozen, all the waste can be sent to BHO, CO2, or alcohol extraction to recover any residual cannabinoids. Let that sink in for a second. Whether all that turns out to be accurate, my invention would be an achievement if it ends up helping farmers make a higher quality product in situ. A product that can wholesale for a higher rate and generate more revenue for farmers will change the dynamics in places like Hindu Kush or Morocco. But that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another episode next week. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.